What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna do a solar experiment with a miner. We're gonna build a miner. We're gonna give it solar power with batteries and see if we can mine 24 seven. Before we start though, I wanna give away one solar panel to you guys, the 80 watt solar panel by Dokio. Dokio sponsored this video. So one of you can win this. All you have to do is just subscribe to my channel and like this video. And don't forget to comment where you're from to see if I can ship it to you. And it also comes with a solar controller too and some cables. So that's really, really cool. You can plug in your USB. There's USB ports right there. And if you have a battery, you can plug it into a battery. We'll charge it too. In my last solar experiment, we had a few issues. First, I only had one battery and only had one solar panel. I also had to use a converter with a power supply and it's just too much power was lost there. We're gonna use a different power supply in this video and we're also gonna use two solar panels and two batteries. So that will give us more power and hopefully more profits and we'll also be able to mine it 24 seven. So let's see what kind of items we need for this project. Let's start with the computer itself, the miner. We're gonna use the Ryzen 2700X by AMD. It actually mined like a dollar a day, which is quite amazing and only takes about 80 watts. Now, I think this socket is rated for 105 watts. We're gonna use a motherboard here that supports AM4 CPU by AMD. And this is a Biostar TB350 for mining. We have a four gigabyte of simple RAM. We have 240 gigabytes of SSD. We have an MPPT controller for the solar and the battery. This will help us reach a higher efficiency and get more from our solar panels. That's why I choose this one. Also, if you can see here, it has a Bluetooth. So we can actually monitor its performance and the performance of the battery, uh, how much the mining takes, how much the solar produce, how much battery we have left, and have a little more control over our mining. We also have a 1030 here by GDX, uh, made by MSI. This one is probably be used in case we are using more power than I assumed. So we're gonna mine with the Ryzen and with the MSI 1030. Together, we may be able to make more profit. Now for the power supply, we're gonna use a DC to DC 12 volt power supply. Now this one is rated for 160 watts. I'm a bit worried though, because look how thin those two cables are that's gonna power the CPU. Well, I don't know about that. This might not be sufficient. I'm gonna try to use this and see if it's gonna work. If not, we're gonna swap it with a 250 watt DC to DC 12 volt power supply. Now let's build this guy. Let's start with the Ryzen. We're gonna install the 2700X CPU right here. My favorite MX4 thermal compound to lower our temperature and hopefully less power consumption. We have the heatsink fan right here for the uh, AMD. We're gonna throw in one stick of RAM. You guys gave me a lot of crap last time about this, so, you know, it's just one RAM this time. I'm gonna plug in the power supply as well. And I'm gonna have to solder an adapter for this. And you know my amazing soldering skills. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to solder this to the MPPT on the load part where so it can give power to the motherboard and to the mining also going to power up the ssd here i'm going to also going to plug in a sata cable too to the motherboard and finally i'm going to install the gpu those are the solar panels we're going to use those are two dokio 200 watts each solar panels and those will go up on my roof now i'm installing everything on the plate here so it'll be easier for me to move it around and i'm just going to use some screws for a motherboard to screw it in and also going to screw in the ssd 
Now let's open the solar controller. Now this one is more advanced than the one I had before and it supports up to 440 watts for the solar which is great because I have 400 watts worth of solar. Here it is. So now I'm going to start by plugging in the load to here. So this is where the power is going to go in to the miner. PV is the solar and battery is for the battery. Let's uh, go ahead and plug everything into it. Here is the battery. As you can see here, there's uh, plus and plus, minus and minus. Those are connected in parallel. So therefore I have only 12 volts and I only want 12 volts because my power supply supports only 12 volts for the motherboard. So that's how I connected it in. If you are going to draw more power, I really recommend you use a thicker cable. I just didn't have any cables, so I'm using those ones. But yep, plus, plus, minus, to minus. And then I'm going to connect the plus and minus to the solar controller. I'm going to go ahead and cut the original power and expose the wires inside. Now minus to minus, plus to plus, to the controller. I'm now going to solder the power clips to the battery. If you're a professional, please look away. This is a propane jet gas thingy to melt down the protectors. Here is our setup so far. We have two batteries in parallel and we have the controller and we have the miner here. Whew, and now I'm gonna turn it on and I plug in the miner after I solder those connections to the batteries. Okay, all right, let's do it. Oh, oh yeah, it turns on. All right, I don't know if it's, oh, it, it boots too. Woo, okay, it boots and everything. All right, um, that's a good sign. So now it's time to set up the solar panels to make sure those batteries keep charging with the charger controller so the controller keep charging the batteries so we are running the windows on this mining rig and only with the batteries i'm a little worried because the whole power of the whole thing the whole cpu power is by those two little cables and that gets me a little worried about <laughs> delivering 100 amps um, I'm gonna try it anyways and I will do it on the camera in case it blows up and I also want to see if it will actually mine on this if I can put some load on it will it actually be able to mine so let's uh, wait for it to boot and see what happens okay so it's working um, it's mining what I managed to do is I underclocked the cores to 2225 megahertz each and so the power draw is not too much on this little power supply and i'm actually mining at 372 uh hashes per second which is pretty high about 70 cents 68 cents um per day and yeah it's all working um the cables doesn't get too hot it gets slightly hot which is gives me gives me a little more assurance that this will work in the long term what I'm gonna do now is to install the solar panels so I can keep charging those batteries while it's mining and hook it all up together and the solar will be hooked up in series now I'm gonna go ahead and install the two solar panels on the roof please do not try this at home I'm a professional Here is the second solar panel. I'm gonna put it on the roof now. Do not try this at home.
this is the cable that is coming out from the solar panels there are two of them so I connected the plus from one of the solar panels to the minus of the other solar panel I'm trying to get uh, 24 volts here so I'm gonna solder those two together and then the other two ends the minus and the plus will go to the controller over here and then that way you can charge the battery and at the same time the miner can mine and it can charge the battery and everything will work we're now going to plug in the solar panel to the controller the charger solar controller this will charge our batteries and will give us information on how much power we are making from the sun and how much battery we have left. I'm pulling from the sun 188 watts. Uh, it is 3.40 p.m. so it's not peak time, it's not 12, but I'm still managing to pull up almost 200 watts. It's actually charging the battery right now at 1357 volts at 13.4 amps. That's actually a pretty big amount of uh, power right there. Now let's go ahead and turn on the computer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start mining and uh, watch it a little more while it's charging the battery and uh, we're gonna see I'm gonna let it be on for a couple weeks and see the result to see how long I've managed to turn it on and let it run on battery only. Both CPU and GPU are running but I don't see any point running the GPU. Uh, looks like the power supply can handle it. I'm very surprised. Um, that's a good sign in case we are um, basically have extra power from the sun and we have extra battery charged we can go ahead and run multiple uh, the GPU and the CPU if I want to and that way I can make more money out of the sun so that's a good option to have to see that the power supply does work everything turned out really well it's actually charging my battery right now my two batteries connected together at 152 watts and it's almost 5 p.m. right now so even though those are two 200 watts each solar panels it's not gonna give you always 400 watts right it really depends on the you know where the Sun is um, how many clouds are there if it's a summer or not so all those things really matter but it looks like those solar panels are pretty efficient I reached almost 200 watts at around 2 or 3 p.m. which is the highest I've seen it and I'm sure it will go over and the only thing I'm disappointed is with the smart solar um, controller it does work really well it does work um, it does have a Bluetooth app that I really like but I couldn't use the load part of it where I can plug in the computer to the load part so I can actually see how much wattage I'm taking out so I wish that worked it always shuts off uh, maybe it has some limitations on power I'm not consuming that much anyways. I think I'm taking about 50 watts right now. I underclocked the cores to about 2000, 1800 gigahertz. So, and also lowered the voltage to one volt or less to be able to lower my consumption of power. I'm gonna run it like this for maybe a couple of days until the battery is full. I want the batteries to be full completely before I start over, not overclocking, but putting the clock speeds over to standard speeds and see how long it will be able to maintain itself with the solar only with solar charging during the day and then discharging during the night if you want me to make another video follow-up in two weeks from now to see the status of this to see um, how much I can basically clock the CPU and maybe even the GPU to be able to make more per month or and per day from the Sun so Please leave a like. If I have 5,000 likes, I will do another video. Don't forget that if you subscribe to my channel and you're gonna leave a comment with where you live, I'm gonna choose one person and give him this 80 watt solar panel for free. And it has a solar controller and some cables too, so you connect your iPhone or you can charge whatever, you know, if you have LED lights or you can do a lot with this kind of you know, solar panel in case of emergency or whatever. I also want to thank Dokio to providing this solar panel and the two 200 watt solar panels that I have with me that I use today. So thank you so much for Dokio. They have really uh, like low cost solar solutions that are portable and they're pretty light and they're probably really good for RVs or cars or whatever. 
uh, if you're on the road. This little power supply, that 12 DC to DC power supply actually worked fine, it works fine. Uh, I can actually manage to clock the CPU all the way to standard, even though I was managing to get you know, on a regular power supply, right, from uh, 110 volt, I managed to get, you know, 740 hashes on Kryptonite, and I'm only getting like, six, I think 650, 600 something is the most amount I've seen, no matter what, you know, gigahertz clock speeds I put. It seems like the cleaner, like it's cleaner power when it comes from your wall than coming from a battery with a solar panel connector, right? So it's not going to be as clean power going to your CPU and it really also depends on the power supply. They might be able to make a better quality power supplies, the DC to DC, the small ones, that maybe can provide more power. I've seen those like provide up to 250 watts. I might try those in the next video to see if I see any results, any, any better results. You see the screen there, of course that screen that's connected next to it is connected to the power. Uh, this is for testing purposes, obviously I'm not. it's not going to be able to power up the monitor also. So the monitor is actually connected to my house power and the computer itself is running from solar and I'm now I'm going to just let it run and not touch it and uh, see what happens. So you're probably asking, you know, of course, how much can you make? So right now, because I'm underclocking everything, I'm only making like $10 a month from this setup from the sun only. Um, it's not a lot. I might be able to jump it up to 20 and maybe $30 per month. Now remember, all this equipment is not cheap. All the solar panel, every solar panel is like two, 300 bucks. The every battery is two or three, 200 bucks each. So that's like 800 bucks right there. And then the controller is like 130. That's 500 something dollars. And then you add up the Ryzen to 2700, that's like 320 bucks. All that together, you probably getting about 1,500 to $2,000 setup. Would you ever make your money back? Uh, it's not, I don't think this is, you know, it's not for profit. Obviously this is an experiment that I did to kind of show you what happens if you do it. I do like that I now have a micro uh, off-grid setup so then if there is emergency happens I have a micro grid and I have my solar panel I have my battery so I'm not really relying on the power at all so in case of emergency zombie apocalypse or something I'm still gonna be able to have power to plug into all my batteries for my cameras for my phone even laptops will be able to plug it in with an inverter and pretty much even a small fridge and maybe even a projector so I can still watch TV uh, movies I can still use my laptop I can charge all my phones all from this little off-grid emergency uh, setup so that's a big plus for it regarding the mining maybe if you have over if you're overproducing so if you have a setup like this already or if you want to have an emergency off-grid setup if you're overproducing power instead of your batteries just being fully out you know fully charged and then uh, just have the battery just you know not charging you can use that extra power and direct it towards mining why not that's a, something you can do I hope you liked this video and I hope you liked my soldering skills a lot of people said they hated it <laughs> so i'll see you guys on the next video don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching bye bye